This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I make a blank alpha in Spotlight? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is asking about generating a blank alpha in Spotlight. And so this could be generating a alpha that you can use now as a template for using the union features inside of Spotlight and then also using with Snapshot 3D. So to go over this process here, first I'm just going to zoom my star out a little bit so it's a little bit tinier on the screen here. And then I'm going to go into Lightbox by pressing this button here or pressing comma on my keyboard. And then here, after Lightbox opens up, I want to navigate to the Spotlight area here. And I'm just going to double click on the 512 hard surface spotlight. Let's bring that in here. Then after this loads, I'm gonna press Z on my keyboard to get the spotlight wheel and just move this down. Now, if I come over here and say select one of these alphas, and then I'm now just going to duplicate this. So I have two of these. I'm gonna move one out into space here. And with this alpha here, what I wanna do is I wanna clear out the information that's on this alpha and create a blank one. And then after this blank one is created, I can then use this as a base, and then I can take these other alphas and start generating a new alpha from my different alpha shapes. So there's two ways you can clear the alpha. The first way is after you have the spotlight wheel positioned on the alpha. If you come up here and hover over the paint icon and then click and drag, this is going to allow you to paint the entire alpha. And you'll see as I drag this, it's going to change the alpha to white, and then it will change it to completely transparent. So it's going to go through the process of filling it first with a gradient value until it reaches white. And then after it reaches white, it's going to go back to having nothing. So basically erasing the entire alpha. So to do that again, I'm just going to grab another one of these alphas over here and then just size this up, reposition that spotlight wheel in the center come up to the paint option and I click and drag and this is going to start changing that alpha to be white and then after it hits the maximum brightness value there it will then go back to zero erasing that alpha out. So now I have two alphas here that are completely blank. Now the next thing you can do is instead of using click and drag process of using the paint here you can also use the paint to either create an alpha or erase an alpha. So if I say grab this alpha and bring this over and then reposition that wheel, scale this up and hold down shift to get it to its maximum size here. And now I'm going to reposition the spotlight wheel. So I'm gonna click in the center circle here and drag. So I want the spotlight wheel out of the selected alpha. Now I wanna click on the paint option here and now I'm gonna get a brush as I hover over the selected alpha here. And if I click and drag, this is going to add to that alpha. And if I hold down alt and click, this will now erase that alpha. So you can use the paint option to paint or erase the alpha as well. So I can come through and start erasing that and now I get back to that blank alpha. If I wanna start generating a new alpha, I can shrink the brush size down here and start dragging a shape out. And so I come through and start creating a new alpha with this as well. And then if I don't like different parts, I can hold down Alt and erase them. And so now I can start generating different shapes using painting with the spotlight wheel here. So those are the two methods to go by using the spotlight wheel and the paint functionality to create a blank alpha. After these blank alphas are created, you can then come and use the union option here to start blending alphas together and create new ones that you can then turn into geometry with the snapshot 3D functionality. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.